Hey guys, uh, this is Lei. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a second result of my Blue Egg Phoenix call. As you remember, last time that I showed my calling result was about um, three weeks old fry. And I have a total of about 570 fries. And I only keep uh, 250 keepers. So today I'm going to show you the update of how those 250 developed. And so today is March 8th, 2019. And uh, my goldfish fry about uh, five weeks old. So perfect timing. Again, the focus for today's call is still only look at the tail and also top view of the back. And uh, what I mean is I'm gonna focus on whether more on whether it's a split tail or it's non split tail and also remove those underdeveloped tail. And also lesson learned, remember the last call took me almost a whole day from beginning to the midnight. And uh, there's a lot of work. And what I learned is I'm not gonna do one call in one day. So what I did after the first call, I kind of a continuous call every time when I make the water change. All right, I guess you're excited. And uh, let's see. Uh, how's my result looks like all right guys i know everyone's busy so today i'm gonna do short video and as a mechanical engineer this is how do i organized so overall you can see the keeper this is the keeper tank not many i only keep about uh, 38 only 38 keepers out of uh, 570 so you can do the math what is my calling ratio? And uh, we also have calls. Well, as I, as, as I told you, lesson learned from last time, I do continuous call almost every night when I'm doing the water change. And also I'm gonna talk about a particular example that what is my calls. And uh, this is kind of a feedback from last time. And a lot of uh, my friends really like to see a particular example of the call fish not just talk about it but also show the real fish all right so let's talk about the the keepers okay so if i zoom in uh you can see you know this one for example i want to everyone has a very symmetrical structure i want to i want them to have a lot of a uh, 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 spread uh, fan tail and also i want them to have split and what I learned from some of those, my a pro goldfish uh, breeder, and they told me for Blue Egg Phoenix, you may not have a very a deep, clean split in the tail. As long as you see a little bit of split, like this one, just keep it. And uh, the split gonna grow as the fish grow. All right, now I'm gonna show you three examples that I think it's probably uh, a good example out of this 38, okay? All right, hope you can see it. So it's pretty stable. Uh, everything's symmetric as far as I can tell. And uh, also the tail spread out very well. And uh, there's a little bit uh, split at the end. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, maybe no, now. Can okay, you see? This one, the split is actually go deeper. Um, again, I haven't checked from side of you. This is the criteria is top view, split. The split is really good. I like the split. This one, okay? So you can see the split. Uh, I don't know in terms of bottom thing. I, again, I haven't checked the bottom view or side view, but as, at this moment, I want to keep the split and the back. Um, all right, let's now let's go to the exciting part. Is a typical example of my calling. So I listed th four cases. One is no split. The second one I called it a Caesar's cut. Uh, the third one is it has split, but uh, it's not a symmetric. It's actually tilted. The last one is split tail, but no. Uh, tail tips. Okay, let's look at the first one. Da -da 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 -da. 
All right, so this is no split. Let's see. All right, let's look at the tail. It just uh, it just merged clearly. There's no split. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. This one is Caesar cut. Let's see what the Caesar cut means. So as you can see, you're supposed to have a three tips from the tail. The middle tips is gone. It feels like somebody just used a scissor to cut it flat. But there's no uh, central tips uh, extended out. That one is gone. Uh, initially, I worried about it. The third one, sorry, what I call is, well, you have split, but ah, it's almost there. You have split, but it's tilted. You see that? So this one, I like the split. It's actually pretty good. I mean, if you look at the angle, it's fine. It's just the way it attached the body. It's tilted. It's not straight. And the tail is not in the sym symmetrical position along the body line. So the last one, but not least, which is I call the uh, split, but no tail tapes. Let's show what it is. Okay, This is split, but no tail tapes. Let's zoom in. All right, so you see, it's, the split is actually pretty good. Very good split, I mean, very dominant. But they lose the tail tips. There's no tips on each corner. It's gone. Um, well, it's not because the water quality or, or they eat each other. It's just because the way it's developed. This is some deficiency in his or her genes, OK? So let's zoom out. Let's give a big picture look. So this is the four, I mean, I, I may have more, but this is the four typical uh, tail defeat. You look at the split, no split, and also look at the shape of the tail. Uh, so let's do the math, right? So the first time I have 570 overall fries, and uh, I only have 250 keepers. And this time I only have a three, uh, eight, 38 keepers. So overall, here's my my total ratio. Okay, so the overall call rate is about 93%. So 93% out of the 570 are gone. They are not a good quality, which I only keep about 7%. Uh, out of my fry. I, th I think this overall core ratio gonna be keep growing after my third and fourth coring um, because right now I'm primarily only focused on top view and the tail. So after that my next uh, curl, my next call gonna focus on the side view. Alright, but I guess next time the work could be a little bit easier than this time because I get less and less fish. And the other thing is, as you know, uh, when the less fish in the same tank, they tend to grow fast. So this is also great. Actually, my 20 gallon breeder tank, uh, 20 gallon long tank now have moving from 570 fish now to only 38 keepers. It's not finished yet. Stay tuned. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.